Hello. How are you? I'm just asking what the services you provide here at this office are. So what do we got to do to get you to leave the building then? There oh, so is no policy, too. there is no okay. rule, and there is no Nebraska DHS, state law, or county law, or anything that prevents me from videoing inside this office. Absolutely okay. not. Call your district right. attorney and find out. Well, if that's true, so it is true. But now they don't 100%. want you to be here. But they can't ask me to leave a public place can, without a law. We can reason. now. No, you can't. How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press, here in uh, blistering cold South Sioux City, Nebraska. Uh, Sioux City is in Iowa, but South Sioux City is across the line in Nebraska. And we're here at the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services. It slipped my mind for a second. As usual, we're going to take some video here on uh, public property and the public sidewalk. Uh, isn't really a sidewalk, but you know, easement, public property, whatever. And uh, as usual, see if they respect our First Amendment right to take video in public. So we'll see how it goes. guys so uh, AP is uh, open carrying here so I'm gonna go in because I'm not and we'll see how it goes you know there's not even a no gun sign to begin with you going in yeah Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> Just uh, taking some video. Oh, okay. So somebody knows you're like coming or? No. What, what do you mean? Like someone that works here? Yeah. No. Uh -oh. no. Yeah, I'm just taking some video. Uh, what's it for? Just in a public lobby, just, you know. Hello. How are you? Was she able to tell you anything about the office? No, she was, at, she was just asking uh, if anyone that works here knows that we're here recording. And I said no. Oh. And she said, uh, why? She like asked why. I just said, because well, public lobby, whatever. Yeah, just taking a look at the uh, health taking office. Taking a look around at the health office. There's some uh, helpful resource numbers here. Small office. Yeah. Is this the governor? I don't know, is it? I'm not sure. It might be. State Health Department. So. Yeah. Can I just ask you a quick question? Is there somebody else that's like more interested in helping the public out here? You seem like you're a little upset that we're here. I don't know. This is the public health office, right? Yes, I wasn't aware you needed any help. He said he was just doing a video, so. Yeah, well, I was just going to ask you what type of services you. My name is Jason. Can I ask what your first name is? I'll get someone that can help you. Okay, thank you. It'd be great.
and she was asking if anybody knew that we were here filming, uh -huh. I would have said, yeah, you. <laughs> Application for economic assistance benefits form in English and in Spanish. Some envelopes. Mail your forms in. There's not a lot of uh, public information stuff out here on what they do. Yeah, all well, services. Yeah, but I mean, you know how they usually have like oh, a bunch of pamphlets yeah. and yeah. information you can take with you. And, and then the girl at the front desk wasn't interested in giving us any information either, so information's yeah. hard to come by here so far. But uh, we'll see if that changes. Hello. How are you? Can I help you? Good. I can't hear you. Can I help you? Yeah. Can we talk without this piece of glass between us? It's hard enough to hear you with the mask. I can't hear you. What would you like to talk about? Well, can I ask what your name is and what you do here? Okay. Can I ask him first? Who are you? Please? I actually introduced myself to this young lady who didn't want to give me her name. My name is Jason, ma'am. Okay. Can I ask what your first name is? And what can I help you with? I'm asking if I could find out what services are provided here. Okay, but why did you have to record us? I'm sorry? I can't why hear you. Why do you have to record? Why do I record? Mm -hmm. I'm working on a story about the health department. Where are you from? You don't... Can you tell me what your first name is so I know who I'm speaking with? From? Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So can you tell me what your first name is? Can you tell me where you're from? What, what do you mean? Where I was born? Where I live? Why are you here? Well, I'd be happy to tell you that if you would be willing to answer one of my questions. You're so far not willing to answer anything, you won't even tell me your first name. Okay, well, um, let me check with someone else and I'll get back to you. Check with someone else and get back to me. Okay. Hey guys, just want to mention that, uh, you know, usually, as you guys know, AP is uh, the one who leads the conversations with people. So if it was a little awkward when I walked in there, it's because... Uh, we haven't been doing videos for a while. We've been doing stuff, as you know, we haven't put a, put up a video in a while before these couple videos that we've been putting up the last few days. So, uh, you know, just got to get back back used to it. And uh, I'm going to keep uh, improving at, uh, you know, being more active in the, in the video, more dialogue. And uh, is what it is. how that window set up. It's like an exterior window instead of one of the yeah. things with the microphone. And as if it wasn't hard enough hearing with the uh, mask on, I couldn't hear a word she was saying with this glass here. Well, I could hear her, but it was very uh, difficult. It's like, <laughs> let's say. Well, here she comes. Excuse me? Are you with the media? Until you'll at least give me your first name, I'm not interested in... I don't know who you are or how we can help you. We're going to have to call the line for I'm sorry. We're happy to help I can't hear you. You're going to have to do what? Okay. Can you tell me who you are? I told you who I am. Are you from the... Are you, are you with the media? Well, I'm not going to start giving you details about my life. I'm just asking what the services you provide okay. here at this if office are. They're going to give us the information. They're going to have to call the police. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. That's If that's what you want to do, that's fine. Okay. That's up to you. Thank you. Sure. It's completely up to you. Right. How are you? Are you a supervisor here by any chance? No, I'm not. Do you know if there's one available? Mm, 
possibly. The, uh, I'm just here to ask a simple question about what services are provided here, and these ladies, for some reason, don't want to answer any of our questions. <laughs> um, Is there any way you might be able to get somebody to help me so I can just get the answers I'm looking for and get I, out of here? I can try. Okay. I, I don't know what's... And my name's Jason, by the way. I should have introduced nice myself. Ben. What's nice your first you. name? Rob. Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you. Good to know there's a normal person here at the health department. Well, I don't know if all of us are normal or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems, seems to be you are for, yeah. for the time. Um, I'll check and see if there's a supervisor. All right, cool. Available. But I, I, like I said, I don't know. I know mine is gone for okay. most of the day. The, there might be one here, but we'll see. All right. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate you. Uh, oh, look, they're putting up paper over the door. <laughs> Are these people serious? Wow. Now we have a mask on. <laughs> Somebody just felt like you needed the mask? Yeah, might as well have a seat while we wait. <laughs> See them coming down the road there? Yeah. So there's two of them. Are there? Yeah. South Sioux City uh, patrol cars pulling in. How are we doing? Hey, good. Good. What do we got going How are today? You? Good. good. Well, what did the ladies tell you you had going today? They said some guys was in here with cameras going and went so you. That's about it. Who it was? What are, what's the reason? We came in and uh, the young lady with the blonde hair there was sitting by the desk and we just came in and asked what services are provided here. We're working on a story on the health department. So I asked what services are provided here at the health department. She said she didn't want to talk to us. She'd go get somebody else that would. Another lady came out, uh, I introduced myself, told her what my name was, told her what we were doing here, and she didn't want to discuss anything with us either, ask, answer any questions. She asked me what my questions were, and I said, just interested in finding out what services you provide here, and if you can just tell me what your name is. Wasn't interested in doing that, and I uh, said she was going to call you, so we oh. grabbed the closest comfortable seat and sat down and waited. Who are you guys with? I'm just with myself and the fine gentleman sitting next to me. Okay, all right. That's all. Well, I think they're, it's our understanding that they wanted you to leave. Well, they would, they would have to have a reason to want us to leave. There is nothing wrong with taking video. This is a public health office. And I'm coming in with a legitimate purpose to ask what services are provided here at the health office. And nobody wants to answer that question for well, me. We can't make them answer for you. I mean, Right. The same way you can't make me leave for just being here with a legitimate purpose. I understand that. But I think what they should do is instead of denying service to the public, I think they should, I'm not asking any personal questions, I'm not asking anything off color. I've been just as respectful of them as I'm being to you gentlemen, not looking to cause any problems, disturbance. There's nobody here in the lobby whose uh, privacy is being compromised, even if that was an issue. So they could have just got us out of here real quick by saying, oh, the services, here's a pamphlet, this is what we do here, my name's Joan, I'm the supervisor. We met another very nice gentleman that works here named Rob, introduced himself, had a pleasant conversation with him. So you're just looking for a pamphlet then? Well, I was just looking, to, I'm looking to find out what services we're trying to, there are a lot of people who are homebound, a lot of people who can't get out, a lot of people who don't have access to the internet. So we're working on a story and as part of that I wanted to include the services that are provided here at the health department. Well, where's the story going to, what platform? Are you you know what, I don't, just, just like the major media would do, I don't disclose that while I'm working on it, but if we can wrap this up here with these people and you guys want to have a discussion about it when I'm done, I'll tell you from A to Z exactly what I'm doing. I'll give you my name and all my information so as well. Like no well, I would just like them to, I mean, at this point, listen, I'm like, I can't force them to do their job. 
But it's a nice feeling to know if you walk into a public, they don't even know if I need medical service. They don't even know what I need. They don't even know why I'm here. I walked in and said, what services do you provide? They refused to answer. So if I'm here needing mental health services, physical health services, crisis services, anything, they just basically denied me service and won't even speak to me. So I would just like them to do their jobs. I'm not asking anybody any personal information. I even said to the young, both of the young ladies that came to the window, just can I have a first name just so I know I'm speaking with? I gave them my name as a you know olive branch to kind of smooth things out a little bit. Told them I was here working on a story. Not trying to secret myself with my camera. I'm carrying around a three foot stick here. You know, nothing, nothing nefarious. Nothing off color out of sorts going on. Local here. Or? Well, again, that's that's a. I, I choose not to answer some questions. That would be one of them until I'm done. But once I'm finished doing what we're doing, I'd be happy to answer. Uh, yeah, you know, I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. I just think it's astounding that you walk into a public health office and they deny service because I'm holding a camera in my hand. And there's nothing on the door that says no cameras, no video recording, no photography. I checked the. Well, uh, it's just kind of out of. I checked state law before I got here. I do my homework. And I'm sorry. Can I just ask your name and badge number so I know who I'm speaking to? It's on display right here. I, your jacket's covering it, and I, I have a problem. I have a vision issue. Okay. So you don't want to give me your name and badge number? Huh? Yeah, I'm just asking you to identify yourself. You're a law enforcement officer acting under the color of law in your official capacity. So can you just tell me what your name and badge number is? It's Officer Hanson. Officer Hanson. And what's your badge number, sir? 218. 218. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, don't take their road. You guys are law enforcement officers, and you need to uphold the Constitution of the United States. You're not... Don't act the way they do. We, we rely on you for a lot more than that. Aren't you cold out there? Yeah. It's freezing today, man. Yeah, it's freezing. Can I just ask you a name and badge? Mike, Mike. Now, now there is somebody in here. Now we need to shut the cameras off. Well, that's not the way it works. Well, that's not the law. Okay, but that's not the law. You're a law enforcement officer. But here's the deal. Their policy is that they don't speak to the media unless I'm not a member of the media. Okay, then they don't need to talk to you. Here's sure the, they do. I'm a member of the public. Here's this the is a public health law. They said that if you leave your information, they will call you and contact you. Yeah, but I'm here now. Okay. I'm here now and I'm looking for I'm telling you, I can't force them to do anything. No, you can't. I understand okay. that. But you, you, listen, you're failing to identify yourself as well. I just asked your name and... and I just said my name is Mike. Mike, uh, Mike Port, my badge number is 217. Thank you very much. Is that so difficult? It's not. No. So I, what is the animosity going on here? There's none. But, yeah, Mike, sure but, there is. but you're asking us all these questions, but you don't identify who you are. Sure, I, I told the young lady my name. Who are you with then? I'm not with anybody. I'm with this... Gentleman sitting next to me. I'm okay, not. What, what platform are you going to post this, this this story you're working on? What makes you think it's being posted to a platform? Because you told me it was. No, I did not. You said you're working on a story to get. I said out. I'm working on a story. I never said anything about a platform. Never that word never came out of my mouth. I never said posted or platform. You said you're going to. So you guys come in here with preconceived notions about what's going on, and you need no. to shelf that because that might not be what the case is because that's not a good idea for you either. You learned better well, than that. You don't need. Okay, but you don't need to tell me how to do my job, Greg. Okay? Well, you don't have to tell me how to do my. Neighbor. I'm not. And you, but you, what you should be doing is telling these public employees how to do their job. It's not my job to do that. Well, but it's their job to perform in the capacity that they were hired to perform in. And when a member okay, of the okay, public of the, comes in the, asking the, questions related to what they do is, here, what do you think? Well, you were, were, were on the corner videotaping inside. We were looking the at the construction that's going on in the next building, which is a completely empty building. Okay, but they said that you were videotaping from the inside the to the window. Inside. Of the building next door where the construction is taking place. Never happened. 
Well, everything I'm I do, just, this is the reason okay, I video. I'm just telling you. And this is the reason I don't shut my camera off, because once okay. I shut the camera off, anybody can say anything happened, and I, what do I do? I'm just telling you what they told me. Well, well anybody can tell you anything. You okay. know that as a Well, you can tell me person. anything, too. I, well, I've been completely forthright with you since I since you walked in the door. So why, why would I think they're lying to me? And why would I think you have any reason to lie to me? So why would I think they have any reason to lie to me? Because they're acting very strangely and not doing their jobs. I'm sitting here cool as a cucumber, having a very logical... Are you cohesive. requesting a service from these guys? Yeah, I am. What? Yeah, I what? walked in and asked them what services are provided here. There it is. These are the services that are provided here. Why did I have to get this from a police officer? I, I don't not the woman standing around the counter. I don't know. Okay, but then you're almost jumping on their bandwagon telling me I can't be filming in here. What is that all about? Of course I can film in here. Where does it say I can't film in here? Show me a law or a statute or a code. It's against their policy. Where is that written? Show me the I don't policy. Have it. I don't know. It's not their policy. I did my homework very well before okay. I got here. How are you? It's not their policy. I can assure you that. So what do we got to do to get you to leave the building then? Ask nicely, and maybe I'll go outside and continue the conversation with you. Okay. Would but you, you know, when you tell me I have to leave, that's an unlawful order, and that's not oh. something I'm gonna. You know, I don't. I follow 100% follow right. lawful orders. I didn't ask. I completely I didn't tell you ignore. To leave. Well, you said to shut the cameras off. Well, well, when you have someone coming in, that is. That's not. Yeah. The onus is on. I'm, I'm not HIPAA certified. The onus is on them to protect their privacy, yeah. not me. Oh. This is a public lobby, and anything I can see with my eyes, I can record. Yeah. Okay. That's the way it works. Audio and video. Okay. Well, if that person doesn't want their face on the video, then... Well, that's, you know... No. Yeah, I, I, as a human being, I would respect that if they asked me that, but I actually just had a little quick conversation with him. He was being pleasant, smiling. No issues. Didn't ask me to turn my camera off. I had no issues with it. So I don't want to assume he's got issues that he doesn't have. You know what I mean? And I'm not looking to give you a hard time. I'm just looking to walk in here, ask a question, get the answer, and leave. I would have been out of here in 30 seconds. Did you get to ask the question? I'm sorry, what it, Did you get to ask your question? Oh, I got to ask my question, but it, yeah. it was not answered. What was your question? I We came inside, okay, asked them what, I said, my name is Jason, mm -hmm. and I'm here to find out what services you provide here at the health department. So the young lady- And they wouldn't the, answer that question? I'm trying to explain to you. So the lady with the blonde hair right there said to me, I'll go get somebody that'll speak to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then another lady came out with uh, brunette, dark hair, uh, older lady, probably around my age, came out and said, uh, can I help you gentlemen? I asked her the same question. I said, I'd like to know what, so can you please tell me what your name is? My name's Jason. Can you give me your first name and tell me what services you provide here at the health department? Okay. She said, let me go in the back and find somebody else that'll speak to you. That was the second time. Okay. She disappeared in the back for about 10 minutes, came back out like I'd never spoken to her before with a huge smile on her face and said, hey guys, how can I help you? Okay. Weirdest thing that's happened to me all day. Uh, and I said to her, yeah, I'm still asking the same question. What services you provide here? Can you please just tell me your first name so I know who I'm speaking with? I wasn't asking last name, social security number, first name. That's it. She could have made something up. I wouldn't even know what her name was. So instead of answering my question, she said, if you guys um, aren't going to leave, or no, not leave, if you guys are going to continue to video record, then I'm going to call law enforcement. Okay. So I said, oh, okay, call law enforcement. That's great. I'm not, so not going so, to just handle it. You guys can Look out since so, so, so the thing is, their their policy is these guys are here aren't to talk to the media or whatever. I'm not with the media. Okay, but I'm not lying to you. I am, okay. I am not a member. But of the it media. would classify as recorded conversation in, in a yeah. interview type setting. Correct? You say you were kind no, of, you I'm say, not interviewing anyone. But you no. say you were kind of a story, which it, it applies. It, so it, that's the way we're probably going to. So look that's at it. that's, that's how they're looking at. That's it. the way they're looking at it. They're not going to give you any more information than they got you. So and they, why aren't they going to give me information? They, they, because I'm recording. No. If I wasn't recording, they would said, they have answered they said, my questions? Most, most likely. But they said, so the issue is the camera? Most likely. They okay. said if you leave your name and number, they'll have someone call you and answer any questions. Well, I could, have, I could have saved myself a trip and made a phone call. I came down to visit the health department. Well, I'm just telling you what... Part of, I'm, part I'm of my story is getting video and, and the, of the building and the area and just okay. putting together a The building's fine. The area is fine. Sticking a camera in their face and wanting the information out of them on the spot without them pre notifying. I stuck a, I stuck a camera talk. in their face. I listen to you talk, I'm sticking listen a camera talk, in your right? Well, I don't have to listen to anything, but I will. Go ahead. Okay, well, I don't have to listen to anything either. Court, you don't have to be here. There's no we lawful do reason because for you to you're be sticking here. a camera in somebody's face. I did not say that. That's fine you're, now. You're sensationalizing. There I is think no we've sticking come to the conclusion of the conversation, though, right? 
We've established that it's kind I'm of. I'm not following what you're saying. No, I'm still stuck on the fact that you're saying. Story. No, I'm still no. Nope. So they don't want. What you if to my do son's that? a high school student? He's working on a project for high school, and that's why we're They're here. It still probably know. requires some pre notification. Then you would, no, call, then you would call and set up something. You wouldn't just. No, well, but that's, that's all that they're asking. Maybe that's what you would do. That's not what I would do. That's all that they're asking. Well, there is. So we've established how they want. No, let me tell you something. I did my homework before I got here. We understand that. There is no policy. There is no rule, and there is no Nebraska state law. There's not county law or anything that prevents me from videoing inside this office. Absolutely okay. not. Call your district right. attorney and find out. Well, if that's true, so... It is true. But now they don't 100%. want you to be here? But they can't ask me to leave a public place can, without a law. We can reason. now. No, you can't. Can Have I violated a law? We are asking you to leave. They don't want you, you can in ask the building. I can respectfully decline. Well, you're disturbing their peace right no, now. No, I'm not disturbing anybody. Uh, uh, this uh, is disturbing their peace. I was sitting here that's silently until you walked in. This is a disturbance of the people. We're all having a conversation. Everything's fine. It doesn't need to escalate in any. It's not going to escalate. We're addressing it as that. We would like you to leave so then we can leave. And you guys go about your day. Well, you guys can do whatever later. you want to do. I'm going to leave of my own accord. I'm not going to be rushed out of a public building without. So you understand account. that you can't record anymore, though, with them because they don't want to do that. I can sit here and record all day if I wanted to. But they don't want not to saying answer that any questions to under being recorded. They don't have to answer. I can't force anybody to answer questions. Just as you can. Absolutely okay, correct. Excellent. So you understand you know that what? they're not going to do now that. Now I understand that they're not going to answer any questions. I'm not going to ask them any more questions. Okay, great. But I'm not going to be rushed out of a public place for no reason just because you guys feel like you want me to leave. So well, I will we had to here. establish that you weren't going to record them anymore, though, right? I'm going to record here in the office. If I think they're personally like sticking a camera in their face asking them questions. You are not going to do that anymore. Did I just? Did you hear what I just said? Didn't I did just you hear tell, what I just said? Didn't I, you're asking me a question I already asked and answered. Okay, so you guys are not going to do that anymore. Asked and answered. Say it again. Asked and answered. Okay. Clever. So we're done here. It's not clever, it's legal. Good. I stick to the law when I do these things. Awesome. awesome. You're not feelings police and you're not policy police, you're a law enforcement officer. Exactly. So if there is Definitely no law, the if there is, if there is no law being violated here, you have no business here. There is with the disturbance of their peace when you were sticking a camera in their face. No, now happened. that you understand that you're not going to do that, then never there is happened. no disturbance. Never right? happened. There was never a disturbance. That's what the woman just told me. She can tell you anything here. she wants to tell you. The camera's the objective witness that never lies. You're skipping over the issue. I'm not we skipping talk. over well, anything. You're, you're skipping over the fact that I walked into a public health office to ask what services are provided here. What did I ask and you when I first got here? Service. What did you guys want? That's what you're Didn't skipping Didn't I ask you that when I first got here? What Same thing I've been saying since I got here. Didn't I ask you that, though? What did you want? I never skipped over it. That was the first question out of my mouth. Exactly. Thank you. I'm having a hard time keeping up with your circle jerk logic, so you you win that conversation. The only one circle jerking is you right now. Okay. I'm so trying why don't to stay we just on end point. The, so here's you what I'm going to do, what I'm gonna do to make it simple for you. Conversation's okay. over. Have a nice day. Perfect. Just as long and as I'll you guys when understand. I'm ready to leave. I don't want to hear. You guys don't don't rustle the lollipop in your mouth. Con. Don't eat yellow snow. Don't sleep with your partner's wife. Okay. I get it all. I'm older than you are. Have a nice day. Adios. I understand you're getting frustrated, but I'm not frustrated at all. I'm being direct. No, no. You there's can, zero you're frustration. You're you're insinuating that you're getting frustrated. Types of issues going on here that we so were never even. So I don't need to hear your so explanations. You never, I don't you never need your advice. Inside the window, into the building. He doesn't need to answer your questions either if he doesn't want to. We well, never were talking. We're talking. Well, if he's listen, video, conversations over, guys. Have a nice day. I wish you the best of luck and stay safe. If he's, he's just, videotaping inside of the building, outside of the, this public area. Even if I was, that's perfectly legal. There Even can, if I there was, can be capital information laying around. You can't just. Well, then they had the onus is on them to guard no. that private information. Absolutely, is familiarize yeah. yourself with HIPAA laws. Well, you have no idea what my if, education if is and what do I know. That, can you show us the video? Absolutely not going to show you my video. Well, of course you're not. No, absolutely yeah. not. No, no, not the way you're behaving. Might have been I, on a I different, just asked, I just different day, a different time. Maybe it wouldn't have been a show. different day, different time. Yeah. You're, you're going to act the way you act, and that's this is how it is. I respond to the way I'm treated. Absolutely correct. Yeah. How have I treated you? Have I, have I asked you questions? You can answer that question for yourself. I'm not interested in entertaining it. Conversations over, We just guys. want you, you to understand can... that they're not going to answer any questions. How many times are you going to repeat camera? yourself? Ask, Until answer, you guys acknowledge this it. This already done. We, I can, don't know what we can stay here as long as you can. Well, have a seat. You yeah. want to order pizza? I'll buy. Really? Yeah, sure. Well, hey, Legitimately, like you guys want pizza? I'll order a pizza. Knock yourselves out. It's on me. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what you're talking about. Okay. We just, that's all uh, we don't want. tell me what that's I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about very clearly. The women had an issue initially. Now that issue is over because you guys aren't going to stick the camera. No, now the issue is over because they realize they have no legal standing. That's why the issue is over. They were concerned initially. Well, they, well, they're, they're well they, you know what you do when you're concerned initially? You ask the questions. 
Well, they're just and you try to have the conversation, yeah, and just, you try to understand what I'm doing. You don't just deny somebody service when they will. What if I was in a crisis situation? I, I thought you help. said to answer your questions though after they got the right person. Never, no. I, when did I say that? Never answered my questions. You were the one well, that brought this information I mean. out to me. These women have not answered a single question, not even what their first name is. Okay. Nothing. But Zero. you're but, recording. But see, the, oh well. So what does that the, mean? The thing is, they're in a public office. But, but their policy well, doesn't. Well, then they need to find a job listen, in the private sector. Their policy, That's the way that works. Same thing with you. Their policies. They don't speak to the media, which they thought you guys were, because you had cameras. I told her I was not with the media. She asked me that, and I said I am absolutely not. Just like I said, but if you're, they but, can't ensure that they got to have. But a you said notice. if I was with the media and I said I wasn't, uh -huh. that would be a serious violation of the code of ethics okay. for being a member which of the press. Which we have to enforce. Later, I, but they don't know that. They're not going to have. You couldn't right enforce here. that. That would be inf that would be enforced. In I didn't say me. I didn't say I didn't say myself. That I said that that would be have to be enforced later. Okay. Whatever you think. All I'm telling you is, is I'm not a member of the media. We I have every now. right to be here. Okay. If I want to stand here and video what's going on in here all day long, there's nothing you or anybody else could do about that. I am perfectly that's within fine. my rights. That's recording in here. That. They just didn't want to be recorded. I don't think you realize that. But that's that not their person. option. I understand that. Sometimes I don't want to be stopped by a police officer okay. when I'm speaking. Do you have some but I get stopped that anyway. show that you are allowed to record them? Because did you bring that at least? Do I have identification that would show them I that I'm allowed? Never said identification. To... Maybe you should what just you slow say? down. Don't get frustrated. I'm asking a question. I just want to know the answer to it. Well, so, so repeat your question. I didn't hear you. Exactly. Answer. Okay. Did you bring any documentation with you that shows that you are legally able to record them and them say no? The society that we live in, oh. okay, in order for something to be prohibited, okay. it needs to be expressly prohibited. Okay. That's the way the law works in this country, right? Oh. There is no law saying this is what you are allowed to do. Okay. The law tells you what you're not allowed to do. Okay. Right? But so you, how would you I said have you've done your research? So where is that research? Do you have any documentation to show that? You ever hear the internet? Call your district attorney up. She'll answer. He or she will answer all the questions. I didn't bring this to anybody's table. You brought it to ours. We're just asking for it. That's right. it. Well, I, I'm telling you that I did. Listen, ignorance of the law is no excuse on my side, and it's not an excuse on your side either. Okay. So obviously, you're ignorant of the law, and I'm not. Okay. So that's the situation. I'm not asking. In. So I invite you to educate to show yourself. Me that's it. I'm not here to educate you. I'm here to do what I'm doing. So okay. if you need to educate yourself on HIPAA laws, privacy laws, and filming and recording in a public building, okay. knock yourself out. I would suggest you do that. Okay. But I've already done that. And no, I do not bring proof of doing that with me. I don't okay. require proof of that. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't, never I didn't bring proof that. that I had an egg sandwich this morning either. You know, what, what, what does that mean? Yeah. I never asked. So you guys came you in and started required. off on the wrong foot. We could have been having a whole totally different conversation. I think we started off on the fine foot. I asked No, you I don't think we wanted. started off on a fine foot at all. I, I, I and I'm telling what you, you what. Wanted. There's a lot of very there's a lot of very good law enforcement officers in this country right now who yeah. I respect immensely, okay? And there are also a lot of officers in this country who are getting good officers hurt. Okay? Yes. Don't be one of those guys. Nobody's Behave yourself. Hurt. Look at what's going on. Uphold your oath. Ask the questions and listen to what people tell you. Don't come in like a bully thinking that your gun and your badge are going to scare anybody into anything. All it does is make I me stand you, my ground more I because I know what my rights are. I never, we, we asked you what you guys wanted, didn't no, we? No, you not? told me to shut the camera off. Who, who told you to shut the camera off? Officer Morton. I said they wanted you to shut the camera off. I didn't exactly. My, now, now there is somebody in here? Now we need to shut the camera off. I you said it's time to turn the camera off. Well, now that there's, there was a... a, a so it doesn't matter if there's 50 people in here. Okay. doesn't matter who's in here. But they the have is, private offices in the back, and yeah. if somebody has private business, you don't do it in a public lobby. Okay. I tend to keep my private issues at home. Okay. I don't bring them out in the public and put them on display for everyone. If someone walks up to the window and... and there's going to be people okay. sitting here listening to them. Okay. Right? That's fine. So but what's the difference of recording is, or listening? If you listening? asked him and talked to him, that's fine. That's not a problem. I don't have to ask anybody anything. But you told me you talked to the guy. I, t I didn't tell you I asked him if it was okay to record him. I told you I had a cordial conversation with him. Okay. See, so all this is creating a disturbance. I was sitting here quiet as a mouse, silent, not bothering anyone. As evidenced by my little friend here at the end of the stick. Now, if you guys want to start all over again, de-escalate. I'm not worked up. I'm not. We came in. We you got five police officers standing here, okay. with, and there's no lawful reason okay, for one of but you listen, to be here. We get a 911 call saying that there's someone in the lobby. That's an abuse of the 911 system. What did they tell you? I'm going to. Am, I, am I supposed to ignore that call? I'm going to FOIA request the 911 call, so okay, we're going to find so, out what they told you. So am I? And I hope they didn't exaggerate the situation. Put me in harm's way, and could put this gentleman in harm's way. We don't. Okay, so I hope they were honest with we you and accurate in their description of the events ignore, transpiring. We don't ignore 911 calls. That's why we're here. 
Of course you don't ignore 911 calls, right. but I hope they didn't make a frivolous one. I, I hope they're not I abusing the 911 system. I didn't hear the conversation. Well, I'm going to find out. I'm going to forward request a request to call. Okay. We don't hear the 911 calls. We get dispatched. Well, I'm going to hear it. Okay. That's, fine. That's all public information. Okay. Yeah. Good. So I just hope they told the truth. Because if they okay. didn't, what they did was put you at, at risk. Because you're, let's say there's nothing dangerous going on here and they say there is, you're going to come in here hot when there's no need to be and that could create an issue all by itself, right? So yeah, that, okay. that, could, that could be a bad day for you and I don't yeah. want to see you in that situation yeah. either. No, oh, I agree. I'm not interested in anybody being put in a bad situation. Yeah. Oh, right. And I didn't put anyone in a bad situation. A camera of mass we, destruction, that's the only thing I'm carrying. Okay, okay guys, so, so here's the thing. You guys do what you guys want to do here until 5. That's what time they close. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to be here until 5. Yeah, so, I'm going to be out of here. After you guys leave, I'm going to be right, out of here so in a few just minutes. Just you guys know, you know, keep it down, you know. I'm not interested in speaking to anybody because well, the, as just, far as... We can, just can, have can you, something to tell you. Can you, just can you just, yeah, no, no, I'm agreeing no, with you. I'm, 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 I'm so, telling you so, that I accept okay. what you're saying so, and I agree you with you. Keep your voice down, you know. I'm not going to even speak to anybody. Want we weren't even speaking to five. each other. So 5 o'clock is what time it closes, okay? So Well, I'm obviously any, not any interested questions? in staying here past closing questions? time. Closing time. Any other questions? Name and badge number, Officer Tran, Officer Tran, badge 216. 216. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Do I have any other questions? I would love to know what services are provided here, but all I know about now is EBT and some phone numbers, but I guess okay. I'm not going to get that information. They, they said if you leave your name and number, mm -hmm. you can get all the information you want if you call back. Okay. That's, that's so at the end of the day, what you're telling me is, is we can stay here as long as we don't cause, as, as long as we don't break make the a law. Disturbance. Break the law. Yes. This okay. Make a disturbance. As long as we don't break the law. Okay. So as long as I'm within the confines of the law, okay. you guys have no issues. You're going to leave and you're going to let yeah, us stay we're, here. We're leaving right now. Okay. So then what I'm going to tell you is, is this was a First Amendment audit and these women just failed miserably. And okay. this is going on YouTube and I have the largest we assumed it First Amendment audit channel on YouTube, okay? And I have, let me tell you something, I have exceptional, con we've been to 28 okay. states in the we past year and a half defending the Constitution of the United States, and we have exceptional conversations with law enforcement all over the country, wonderful, productive, educational conversations. Uh -huh. But then once in a while we run into this. And based on the fact that these two just left, I can understand now that you guys are the ones that really care about what's going on and they don't. And we're here for you as well, that's what you don't know. Okay? Because like I said before, there's a lot of bad officers out there in this country who are getting good officers killed. Okay? And I think that's disgusting. And I respect law enforcement. And we, I'm not about defund the police, reform, any of that garbage. I think you guys need better training, especially the younger guys coming up, because it's an ever-changing world and there's a lot of things going on that weren't going on five years ago. Okay? So I think training and education are crucial. De-escalation is crucial, that's why it's written into your policy, okay? And I think you guys came in here, okay, you know, not horrible. And you decided at the end of it that I was lawfully here and that you were gonna leave us here, and that's fine. And that's why I'm telling you what I'm doing now. These ladies just- Can, I, they can I just say something now? Absolutely. You gotta understand their perspective though. A couple guys come in here, a couple cameras, things going on in the country as you guys just stated, can kind of freak them out. That's okay. what they call it. That's why we're here. Oh, okay. I, I know, and I do Other understand that. If, and that, I if everything you just said is true, we appreciate you. Have a nice day. Well, let me let me just tell you We're, that I, I I'm, I'm good. I can't tell you how many. I just health, want to get that. Right, I'm well, good. You're the last one saying. We're saved. probably good. I can't tell you how many health departments we've been in with an absolute 100 percent complete 180 degree different reaction, and we love to show the good reactions. That's I, what my channel's about. I, I'm not out looking to stir up garbage. But okay, but that's between you guys. We want to expose the good guys that's as well. That's between you guys, right? Okay. This is between you guys. Well, what's, what concerns me is, and it's a genuine concern on my side, not only the fact that we were denied service, okay, that's a serious issue, because they don't know who's coming in here. But the other thing is, like I said, it's very important that when they called 911, they were very accurate in what they said. Because if yep. they said, hey, there's guys in here with this, doing this, and revved it up to a point where you guys came in here hot, walked into something with preconceived notions, that could put you in a very dangerous situation needlessly. Yep. Just because they got scared. Okay, so that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all because I don't want to see you get hurt. You are the last one standing here. You're probably one of the good guys. That's what I can imagine. The rest of the guys that just walked out of here didn't want to continue the conversation. They're going to keep doing what they do. You might want to think about what's going on. You seem like a little bit more of an open-minded uh, open person to me. And I assure you, we're here for your benefit, for their benefit, and for the citizens of the United States' benefit. Okay. This is my son. Okay. okay? We started doing this a year and a half ago, way before this whole situation we're in now, mm -hmm. okay? And the reason we do what we do is because rights are like muscles. And if you don't exercise them once in a while, they go away. And the Constitution of the United States is under a very serious attack right now. 
And I value that piece of paper almost as much as life itself. Because that piece of paper is what separates us from every other country in this world. And I don't want to live under any other regime. I enjoy the benefits of living under the Constitution of the United States, and I think people like these ladies are giving up their rights too easily. That's what I think. Okay. okay? And I think that it's very important that you guys are in a position to do your job safely and effectively. I don't think you should be put in situations that you shouldn't be in. That's a scary thing. Okay? Like I said, that get you hurt, that can get us hurt, that could get them hurt. That, they could have just created a situation here. What would happen if I walked in and asked what services were provided here? They said, oh, we provide mental health services, crisis services, this services. My name is Gene. Is there anything else? No, that's it. And I would have walked out and that would have been an A-plus pass for them. But, but I think... That's it. I, I think what probably tipped the scales was, was, the, was the camera. I think that's probably what did it. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. Well, but, but like you, I appreciate that, what you're saying. You but in, saying. in this, the term that you guys like to use in this day and age, everybody's walking around with a camera yeah, in their pocket. I know. But By it, the time but, you get to the gas station, you're going to yeah. be on 50 cameras. Okay, but here's the thing. That's, it's probably not normal for them to have this happen here, okay? Th that's probably, I agree with you. It's th not that, normal and that's at all. Probably, that's, right. that's probably what got them worked up, is, is the cameras. That, that, that's probably all that. You all know what? If I, I, I understand what you're saying 100%, and yeah. I'm not a fool, yeah. but I also believe that if you're going to take a job in the private sector, you have to expect that you're putting yourself out into the public and you're accepting a little bit more of a transparent life than the next guy who chooses to work in the private sector. Yeah. And that's a conscious decision yeah. that they made to work here behind a glass window yeah. at, a, at a lobby. And I understand. You know, and that's just... And it's not a good look for the health department. And I guarantee you their supervisor is going to have something to say to them after they see the video. Yeah. And that's... You handled yourself fine. I have no issues with the way you handled yourself. I think that we all need... To, DS, you know, de-escalation is written into your policy, right? And it's written into all police officers' policy because it's extremely important, right? But I think there's a step that they miss. De-escalation comes into play when things have escalated, right? Mm -hmm. Not escalating should be the first thing, yep. right? So all of us, myself included, our goal should be to keep bringing things down yep. because once they go up, it's very hard I don't to think bring them down. Well, I, I, I think that you, I, you got. I think that. Honestly, I think if I was not as educated as I am about the law and my rights and I didn't do my homework, you guys might have given me some unlawful orders and had me do some things I'm not obligated to do. Possibly. That's an assumption on your part. It, that's why I said possibly. And it is. And you don't know me. You don't nope. know how I do my job. No. Nope. I'm not like that. Well, I, I, I said I get the sense yeah. that you're one of the good guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not trying to blow sunshine up your yeah. skirt, but I, yeah. I do get that sense that you're one of the good guys. I think you're open to listening to what's going on and you're probably geared towards positive outcome and doing the right thing. I do believe that about you, Officer Moore. I've been doing this for well. okay. 22 years. So. Right. Well, and I hope that rubs off on your charges right. and some of the younger guys, yeah. because yeah, this, like right. I said, to go headstrong into a situation that you, you, you might want to think about before you run into All it right. with preconceived notions. I hope at the end of the day, you know what my goal is here, as well as defending the Constitution? I hope at the end of the day that I learn something from this situation. I hope these ladies learn something. Yes. I hope you learn something. I hope we all, if we all shake hands at the end of this, Find some middle ground, right? They don't have to like what I'm doing. I don't have to like what shirt they're wearing. I don't have to like what they're doing, okay? But there's middle ground to be had. And when you work in the public sector, you have an obligation to try to find that middle ground with people. You can't just decide you don't like somebody's hair color, somebody's shirt, somebody's camera, somebody's got the wrong kind of phone, somebody's shoes are dirty. You know, you have to provide public service because that's what you chose to do. Until the point where somebody's asking for something they have no right to ask for or being rude or disrespectful, creating disturbance, we did none of that. So I think that if we all shake hands, walk away at the end of this, at the end of the day, I call that a good day. Because, and like I said, I don't have to appreciate or like every yep. hands won't swing there. But I don't have to like and appreciate everything you do, but I have to find that middle ground with you, just like you have to find it with me. And we can try to understand each other. Go home, have dinner, you're sitting on the couch, there you think, you might say, hey, you know what, that guy was right about this. I think he was a total jerk for doing this. And maybe, you know, maybe we'll all get some, six months down the road, something I said today might help you out. Six months down the road, something you said today might help me out. So that's all we're looking for. This is my son. I'm not trying to teach my son how to make a mess out of his life. I'm trying to teach my son how to navigate some very difficult waters that we're in right now. And understand that we live in a, in, a, in a place that has a wonderful constitution, which is the law of the land. Anything beyond that to me is, is, is anything that contradicts the constitution is unlawful.
That's my personal belief. I have very strong libertarian beliefs. Okay, and I believe in our Constitution very strongly, and I think you probably do as well. You took an oath to it. So all we ask of you, these ladies, they're going to do whatever they want to do. Maybe they need to get some guys working in here that's, that, that, that that can not get afraid so easily. I don't know. Maybe some other women that can, whatever it is, guys, gals, whatever it is, okay? But they need to learn that they need to provide service for the public. You can't just treat people like that. You're going to see in the video what they did, okay? And I'm gonna not. I'm gonna definitely get that 911 call, and I'm gonna find out what they said to you. And I hope they were accurate, because I'm sure you're gonna be a little upset with them if they weren't. Yeah, I would definitely. You know, if they called up and said these guys are in here threatening people and doing all kinds of stuff, and that wasn't true, you're gonna. That, I don't. I don't think you'd be happy about that. No. Right. No. So maybe after we leave, I'm not looking to uh, shame anyone or anything like that. Tomorrow, next week, whatever it is, I'm sure you guys all know each other. Have the conversation with them and just let them know that they really need to, you know, handle things properly because it's putting you in a bad place. And you don't need to be in that bad place. And neither do I, neither does my son. Neither does anybody else coming in here for help. This is somewhere that people come for help yeah. and assistance. And some of them might be dirty. Some of them might smell. Some of them might be sneezing. Some of them might have blood on them. I don't know. But they can't just freak out and deny service to people because of that. This is what they're here for. And if they don't like it, find another job. That's it. All right. Well, you know what? And just so they are aware, like I said, I'm going to hang around for a couple of minutes. I'm not going to cause any disturbances, and we'll be right out the door. And you'll probably never see me again. All right. Okay. You have a good day, sir. So the information that we were given is some. Uh, this is the two pieces of paper the officers gave me: Nebraska EBT. Uh, in Spanish, they actually gave me a pamphlet in Spanish, um, so I, I don't know how I'm supposed to know what that says. Uh, lucky for me, I'm fluent in Spanish, reading and writing, so it uh, works for me. But uh, then they also gave me another piece of paper, which uh, tells you how to get Medicaid and economic assistance. So this certainly does not explain the services that are provided here at the uh, health department. So fail on these ladies here behind the counter today. And there's all the uh, officers leaving. Four cop cars for two guys with cameras. Fantastic. All right, guys. Um, well, all right, guys. Uh, <clears throat> you saw how that went here in uh, South Sioux City, Nebraska. Five police officers uh, responding for a couple of guys with cameras at the health department here. Um, pretty ridiculous in my opinion, but in the end, uh, as what typically happens, um, police officers got here and uh, after a conversation with them, they realized or accepted that um, there is no lawful reason that we would have to leave. So we're allowed to be there inside the building and take as much video as we want uh, during hours, of course. But um, it's about it for this one. So at the end of the day, our rights and the Constitution were upheld. And uh, hopefully these ladies learned a lesson. And uh, we're going to continue traveling around the country defending the Constitution. So coming to you from the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services in South Sioux City, Nebraska. That's about it for this one. If you like these videos, make sure you check out my other social medias and subscribe here on YouTube. See you on the next one, guys. Out.